One of the big problems of the photoelectric effect is when light comes in contact with the surface of matter it should take a finite amount of time to absorb enough energy to knock out an electron. But no time lag is ever detected and the process is instantaneous. As soon as light comes in contact with the surface an electron is emitted. Mainstream physics has no explanation for the instantaneous emission of electrons. But if the process that we see and feel has time with the ever-changing world of our everyday life is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy. With an uncertain future unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment it can make logical sense. A simple example of this is water with hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming releasing photon energy with the future unfolding photon by photon within the reference frame and relative to the flowing water. The interactive potential of this process can be seen with water being able to form the shape of any object that it is poured into. This process is relative to the temperature of an individual reference frame. The same process can be seen in environmental temperature variations in photon energy forming an infinity of snowflake diversity. This potential can be seen in the infinite diversity of snowflake formation with no two snowflakes being identical. Another example is photosynthesis the scientific ability plant life has to use sunlight or photon energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Basically the entire trick of photosynthesis is to form a concentration gradient between positive and negative charge with the future unfolding relative to the structure of the plant with the movement of that charge. The light photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier that forms the movement of charge and flow of electromagnetic fields. In this theory quantum physics and classical physics are different aspects of the same process with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the physics of time as a physical process. Newton's classical physics is based on differential equations that are basically about the difference between some quantity now and its value an instant into the future. Therefore we have classical physics explaining processes over a period of time in our everyday life. But we have no concept of time in the subatomic world. All we have is the half-life that is only meaningful when applied to a statistically large number of identical nuclei. We can only calculate the probability that half the nuclei will have decayed after any given time. We cannot calculate the timing of the decay as we can with an object in our everyday life because the process we see and feel has time with an uncertain future starts on the surface of an atom with the electron probability cloud. The universe is a continuum based on a deterministic interactive process with the future unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms an interactive process continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe and rate it will help the promotion of this theory.